Hey everybody, Christina here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am reviewing for you this beautiful wig called Christina from Uniwigs. So it does come with about two inches of additional lace. Once you get that, you're, once you get the wig and you decide that you're gonna keep it, you would just trim that back um, just along the hairline. So I did wanna show you what the hairline on this looks like. I have not done anything to it. There are some very light knots, which are easily masked with a little bit of makeup. Like I've said before, knots don't bother me. I actually prefer to have knots over bleaching just because it's going to save the integrity of the wig and you're not going to experience shedding as much versus a wig that has um, bleached knots. It, you're going to experience shedding a lot quicker. Um, so I would rather my wigs to last and just use a little makeup to conceal knots. That's no big deal to me at all. So let me go style this wig, get rid of the box hair, and then we'll talk uh, cap construction and some stats on it. So Christina here is 22 inches long. However, I have my handy dandy measuring tape because I have a feeling that is a very t generous 22 inches because this is a long one and she is, that would be the middle. And we're gonna go measure. So it's about 23 inches curled. Um, so straight, it's gonna be longer. Um, so generous 22 inches. So beautiful mermaid hair and I can't really turn all the way around so let's take a look at the cap really quick um like I said this is a, a cap that does not have ear taps so if you do not have bio hair you're most likely going to have to glue or tape this down um but if you do have bio hair just take some of your bio hair out of the side and blend it out so here's a look at the cap so it has that 13 by 4 um, base on the lace front. Um, so you can part this anywhere that you want. You're going to have that beautiful hairline. It's a closed wefting back, it has cones at the side and at the back, and then it has those um, adjusters so you can tighten it however you'd like. This one feels really good to me. So I have a 21.75 circumference and this one doesn't feel too big or baggy on me like some of them do. Um, so I really love the fit on this particular cap. So pretty basic, there's not a whole lot to the cap, um, but let's go, put, go ahead and put it back on. Now, I don't find the knots on this over the top, but you can, if you are like somebody that absolutely loathes knots, just take a little bit of light concealer and translucent powder, go underneath the cap and just um, put that where the knots are and you will conceal the knots, no problem. If you go and look at my review that I did on this Uniwig Charlotte piece, I actually take you through the process of concealing the knots on that wig because the knots on this wig, because it is a darker rooted piece, were a little bit more noticeable and needed to be um, taken care of. So go check out that review if you wanna see how I conceal the knots on these wigs. But like I said, this is a this is still like a very light knot because of the color of the rooting, so it's really not all that noticeable, but just a little bit of translucent powder or concealer in the part will take care of that, no problem. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye.